Welcome to another unit in this SPSS course. This time I'm going to talk about how we can use Cronbach's alpha to ascertain the reliability of a scale. Well, and first of how we can actually use SPSS to calculate Cronbach's alpha. For this, I prepared a small data set with a few items which we can use to summarize into a scale. And if I want to calculate Cronbach's alpha for this potential scale, I would go to Analyze, then I have Scale here, and Reliability Analysis. Clicking here, see I can just put my items into this part which is actually conveniently named items, and I could just click OK, because it's already set to calculating Cronbach's Alpha. I could click here and see I have some other alternatives as well, which at this moment are not of particular interest. However, before I click OK, I want to switch on one additional feature. And this is what I get if I go to statistics. And in the upper left part, I have descriptives for, and then scale if item deleted. This will give us an additional interesting input if we take a look at what we get there. So we check this. Disregard for the moment all the other stuff, click on continue on OK, and we get our results. We see how many cases we have, how many items in the scale, and we get Cronbach's alpha. So that's the main output of interest. We see at the moment it's 0.876, which is actually a pretty good result. Meaning, if you get an alpha which is below 0.5, you basically can throw away your data. It doesn't really work out. Above 0.6, that's already usable, even though not this good. Starting with 0.8, it becomes decently well usable. So that's actually a good result, good scale we have here. And well, that's more or less everything if we just talk about alpha itself. But I just checked this additional option. And this gives me the table below, which is conveniently called item total statistics. And well, to get a bit insight here, we just recall using all items, we get an alpha of 0.876. This table reports, what if we only use 19 of the 20 items, leaving out the respective item in each of the rows? So if we leave out the first item, we will get an alpha of just 0.869. So it will decrease. Why will it decrease? That's what the second to last column tells us. Because this item is highly correlated with the rest of the scale. So it de describes a similar context. Well, since then, it can only become worse if we leave out something which actually works in the same direction as the rest of the scale. And that's the case for all the situations where we have a relatively high correlation. The stronger the correlation, the stronger the effect on Cronbach's alpha. However, we can also detect some items, like this one here, where we have a comparatively small correlation that's just minus 0.19, and we can see here, in this case, we get 0.888, meaning the alpha actually increases. So I could use this output to actually determine which of my items work in, well, making my scale worse than it could be. So if I get a bad result, I might take a look in this table, which items I better keep out to have a decently working scale. So this table helps me make my result, make my scale much better. Well, that's then already everything I wanted to mention in this unit. So I hope you enjoyed it. I say goodbye and see you next time.